Welcome to Hard Rock Stadium, home of the Miami Hurricanes, a program that has been built on flash, excitement, swagger, even once a gold turnover chain. But the fundamentals of this program, substance. We'll have plenty of substance and swagger from the Canes today. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Florida State Seminoles, taking... Knowles will kick it away to start us off. Looks like he's going to try to return it. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So the Miami Hurricane offense will take the field to get things started. The flash, the style, the swagger, these two really define an era of great college football, and it's always fun to see them square off. So well put, Reese. I mean, two flashy programs, and when they're rocking, they're rocking. The state of Florida's rocking. Everybody's wanting to go to Miami and Florida State. This is a big one. Yeah, and David, you and I can appreciate this because we were playing back in the day when these two programs really had it rolling, when they had so much NFL talent and speed on the field, it seemed like, each and every year. And this was a game that always seemed to determine the national championship picture at the end of the year. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. At the 45 on his way. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. The Canes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Handoff from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Arroyo. Stopped after making the catch. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top. They've got the screen set up. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. Oh, the attempt is no good. And after the miss, guys, the score stays right where it is. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. They missed that 56-yard field goal, and now they'll pay for it by giving up good field position at the 39. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. The give is to Williams. This series is littered with Florida State heartbreaks in close games, but the last time they met, it was the Knowles pulling out a close one. Florida State found a way to get it done. If you could not involve the kicker a lot of time. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Oh, he dropped it. And what a missed opportunity early in this football game. And the Seminoles will try to pin them back with the punt. Just needs a crack to get a return. Was looking for more running room, but found nothing but more tacklers. He's down at the 24. The offense lining up for a first down play. Movement here from the tight end. Leaves it with the running back. Rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the air, it's Ward. He's got his man. And that is a nifty bit of navigation to get through that traffic and get the first down. The run to the right. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. 
Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give out of the gun. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking to throw. And the third down pass is incomplete. The Hurricanes decide to punt it away. Running it back, it's Benson. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. And the defense is there. He got away for a second, but not for long as they knock him down for a loss. The defense came on the field with fresh legs, and here on just the second play of the drive, they're able to get a sack. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Grab behind the line. It's Douglas. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looks it all the way in, and now turns his attention upfield. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The give to the back. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to him again. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. To throw. It's Ward. Fires to the wide out. Wide open downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success. And a really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. Now on second down. Quickly complete. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone. Make them execute and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3 nothing. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. And off from the shotgun. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Off play action. Fires to the right. Incomplete, and man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Wants to throw. It's Uyunglele. Going to try to get it himself. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Miami is on top. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we played one period. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. And the Knowles will snap it on first and 10. 
the give to the single back. And the stiff arm was strong, but the defense was stronger, and they stop him for a short game. Got three on first down at second and seven. Rides to the back. These two have storied traditions in the history of the sport, but in the not-too-distant past, Miami actually considered giving up football, and Florida State was an afterthought. Yeah, a lot of people forget back in the day when Miami was in the Big East, right? When Florida State was in the ACC. This was kind of an, an interconference battle every time they played, but no doubt, David, this game just holds so much more significance to both programs. Both in the state of Florida, Florida State, Miami, the uniforms are so great, the, the lineage, the history of the players, so it does. It feels like this rivalry's been playing a lot longer than since 1950. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. The give to the back. Bust through behind his pad. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. Right back to the well. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Looking to throw, it's Ward. Throws to the wideout. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Well, this guy's become a bit of a problem for opposing offenses. In their last game, he had two sacks, and he's dominating again, getting his first sack in this game now. He right now is wrecking people's game plans, and this offense better find out how to slow him down. And the Canes will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll bring it back. It's Benson. The turns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. From the gun, running back gets the give. Makes him talk to the hand. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. The give is to Williams. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. He wants to throw. Quick completion on the out route. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, and you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. And the Seminoles trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Third and goal coming up here. Looking to throw it to Uyangalele. Trying to get to it. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. All right, nice job, defense. Backs against the wall. You did your job setting up fourth down. Just be careful, though, because this is a team that's shown they can fake field goals. Your guys have to be alert. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team from the left hash, and this distance ought to make that angle pretty easy to handle. And it's no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making this.
comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. Caught in the backfield, it's Horton. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle, it's George. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. First and 10. Looking to move it through the air. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Let's see what they've got on second down. He'll just keep slinging it. Catch in the middle. It's McCormick. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. And the Canes look to keep this drive humming. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Fires to the tight end. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. To the air. It's Ward. Feeling some heat. He's got it inside the 25. Touchdown, Hurricane. And once he found open space, the fan might as well start playing. This receiver is dangerous because of what he can do after the catch. Once he has the football, he is so good at making defenders miss. You saw it on that play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. Getting late here in the first half, they'll have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And the offensive play caller here has to really be dialed in. It's important, down two possessions, Dave, that they're able to score some points, and you got to call your best stuff in this two-minute situation. And, and such a good opportunity to cut it to a one-score game, create that momentum, get some good juices going for the second half, because obviously, you know, you built yourself a little bit of a deficit. You need some good things to happen, and it needs to happen on this possession. Offense gets set for second down. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. That's caught. It's to a feeling. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. And you just wonder now, is that the play that's finally going to wake this offense up? They've been sluggish throughout the entire first half, but could that be the thing that finally just gives them a little bit of a jolt and leads them to scoring some points here before this half is over? The Seminoles will snap it on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Williams. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to him. Coming after him. Now improvising. Finds a crease at the 20. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Looking to pass inside the red zone. He's got it on the run. They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Looking downfield, it's Uyunglele. They're bringing heat. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Seminoles! 
And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Ready to try the point after. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Fellas, it's a final now in one of the more intriguing games of the week, that notable top 25 clash. Houston came away with the win today, but not in dominant fashion. In fact, the folks in H-Town had to sweat things out for much of the second half. Could have been better, but certainly could have been worse. Going to be interesting to see what the fallout from this one is for one ranked team, while the other figures to get a bounce when the new rankings come out, guys. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Trying to find his man on first down. It's caught. And he found all kinds of room and got it down to the 28. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Now on first down from the 28. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Fletcher. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Nothing to do with the football, and he just throws it away. It'll be third down. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Wants to throw on third down. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. Visualizing the right ball flight from 39 yards out in the right hash. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. Played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, between the coaches who have matched wits in this game and the players and the unforgettable moments, Miami, Florida State is must-see TV, and today is no different. And we have to start this halftime breakdown by addressing the play of this elite wide receiver. This is clearly a young man who, once he's finished playing on Saturdays, he's going to be playing on Sundays. The kid has different gears. He has a knack for finding gaps in the defense. And I can't remember a college player with that kind of catch radius. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the battle between Miami and Florida State plays out. Got things teed up and just about ready to go here in the second half. And he hauls it in and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. Tight game as we start the third quarter, and we'll see what type of adjustments they made at halftime. And getting the ball first here, I think, is such a big deal. Like, I get the first chance to make a statement, to make the adjustments, to create some momentum for my squad right here in the third quarter. Yeah, I think it's so important for this offense to set the tone here early in the second half, to get a nice drive going, build that confidence, and get your defense ready to come on out, get a stop, and change the complexity of this game. Back to pass, it's Uyunglele setting up the screen. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. The Seminoles will line it up on first and ten. Pulls and throws off the RPO. Tackled almost immediately. They're well short of the first down. 
quarterback on the keeper. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try and have a big completion here. Pocket starts to collapse. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Great job in coverage by the defense. He just had nowhere to go with the ball. The Seminoles will cut this one away. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Man, oh man, these offenses just haven't been able to find any room to get things going, David. And to quote the great philosopher, Reese Davis, this is very ungood. Just nothing working for this offense, Palmer. They got to find something. Well, the, the plays look good against the scout team during the week in practice, but they have just not been able to find a rhythm against this defense today. They'll line up for a second down play. Second down. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Getting some heat. And the quarterback knew he was in that pocket too long, but nowhere to go with the ball, and he takes the sack. As a defensive end, trust me, I was a defensive end, I can tell you. You start getting a little lathered up. Now you got your second sack. It's only the third quarter. Your eyeballs are getting big. This is going to be one of those days. I'm going to get me three. I'm going to get me four. Shoot, I might even get me five. And the Hurricanes will bring the punt team onto the field. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They go to the draw. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air. It's Uyunglele. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Brought down at the 47, but not before he ripped off 15. Grab behind the line. It's Douglas. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got it behind the line. It's Douglas. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. You know, when you go down personnel package, you've got extra DBs in the game, so it's harder to throw if you're the quarterback. There's just not as many windows. They've got more guys in coverage. You're expecting to at least have a little bit more time, but your offensive line, man, they just couldn't hold up. The Knolls send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. And it looks as if this one's going to carry into the end zone for a touchback. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Looking down the middle. Pulls it in. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Give to the back. 
And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Dropping back, it's Ward. It's complete on the right side. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. That last completion still leaving them with a third down. Running back searching for a hole. At midfield, he's got room. Hit the afterburners, kid. They just gashed the defense on that one, and they've got it down to the 23. And that's a great sign for this offense because this year we know there's been a little bit of inconsistency, and I think the biggest problem has been third down. Right there, nice job executing, running the ball, picking up the first, and keeping this drive alive. The Canes have this offense rolling. Might as well give it to him again. Defense there to stop him at the 20. Let's give him three yards on that carry. Got three on first down at second and seven. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Caught behind the line. It's George. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. So this offense with an opportunity to put this game in a hammer lock if they can score and lead the clock. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. Second and goal for the offense. Tries again to get it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Miami! They extend this lead, and it looks as if they are going to make it two wins in a row. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole, he saw it, put his foot in the ground, and that was paid him. How about this? A two-point conversion coming. ahead worked on the touchdown might as well do the same thing on the two-point conversion he gets all eight points on that trip about to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown he'll bring it back from inside his five he was hoping for something a little more dynamic but they get him on the ground at the 20 guys here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field power football with the run he had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. Dropping back, it's Uyunga Lele. Oh, he makes the catch. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And the Seminoles will move the sticks with the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They move the tight end all over. They weren't able to get that one off. It'll be a delay of game. Delay of game. Delay of game. Offense. Offense. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. Now they'll run the draw. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And the quarterback is snowed under. 
And you could easily argue the biggest reason this team is trailing here in the second half is because they have not been able to protect their quarterback tonight. They've already given up five sacks in the game. And you just saw another one right there. This offensive line has had problems all night long. And the Knowles will line up to punt it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Slips through the line. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark it down at the 38-yard line. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They'll try the run. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll go right back to the run. Can't get him to the ground. And the spin move bought him a little time, just not about a yard. They've got some work to do on this third and long from the 40. Looking downfield, it's Ward. Trying to get to him. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. The Hurricanes line up to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll bring it back. It's Benson. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. The Seminoles have it back. They'll try to get that offensive spear flaming. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. Oh, look out, there he goes. He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game has him on the doorstep. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. First and goal, and this feels like their chance to give them a finish. Trying to pound it in, and he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Florida State! Before that score, considering last rights, now all of a sudden, they're not dead yet. In fact, they're feeling much better, and they're alive, and they've got a chance. And I'm looking on the field right now, I'm looking at their sideline. They're energized, Reese. After that last score, all of a sudden, they believe they can come back and win this game. This is a totally different-looking team than what we saw earlier. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Hey, fellas, here's a quick update on a top 15 clash today. Texas A&M is down, but they are not out of it. Not there at Kyle Field, one of the more special places to watch a game in all of college football. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to LSU. For now, it's back to you, fellas. But, of course, if anything changes, we'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. The pull and throw off the RPO. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And the Canes are rolling down the field. Quarterback will audible. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. 
And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps. And the offensive line took advantage of the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They'll run it. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And that lead grows even bigger. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on the fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing the game. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll return it. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. And he's running in the open. Running inside the 20. Touchdown, no! And once he got loose, it was all over. And listen, still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one-possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get this stopped? Now, the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Only took two plays to find the end zone on that drive and gashing them on the touchdown run finished it off. He's able to grab the football and the hands team gets the job done. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. This is everything you could hope for in a rivalry game like this. Close game, waning moments, history waiting to be made, guys. And it's moments like this why you come and play for these two schools, right? To play in a game like this, in a rivalry like this, in a situation, David, game on the line late, who's going to take it? And you know when you make this play, you're immortalized. With this kind of rivalry, these are the highlights they'll be showing for years. Everybody will be like, I remember when so-and-so made that play against our biggest rival to seal the deal. We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the brain trust will go to work. The give from the gun. One wrap, two-step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. The give to the tailback. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Between the uprights, it's good. What's great about rivalry games? Each side hates every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. Figuratively speaking, of course, and when you win, oh, oh, is that sweet. 
it's glorious to, to be able to brag, to be able to text message your buddies, to be able to post stuff on social media. It's a lot of fun. I think fans like it more than anybody, but it's something that you every year you have a couple games starred. This was one of them, Jesse. They took care of business, and now you move on to the next. They really did. We saw some great individual efforts in this game by the winning team, too. So cool to see some of these players that have had terrific collegiate careers make some of the biggest plays of their lives in this game, in a rivalry game that just means so much. This was a fun one to call. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This